Hello everybody, what's up? Oh my gosh, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be doing a shot my stash, get ready with me. So I do this every now and then on my channel, but I saw, what is her name? Oh my gosh, Paige, Paige Corin, I think is her name. Um, I saw her on Instagram, actually. She's been posting where she rotates, like, she wants to get through, she wants, blah, blah, blah. the series is so that she gets through her entire makeup collection. So, she uses, she'll, she'll go down and she'll use, like, a selected products from her collection, and then just, the goal is that uh, she posts as many, as many videos as possible, um, of her using new makeup, only one product from her collection. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but like, you know how I shot my stash, all the products that I shot my stash, I can only use this once until I get through the rest of my makeup collection. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't even know what I was trying to say. That's the idea here is that, you know, this is, I'll be posting this video every now and then. Um, I don't want to do every week cause I feel like I might be a little overwhelming, but like maybe every two weeks or something like that. Um, and show you guys like my, eventually get through my entire makeup collection, basically. Um, she also goes through at the end and decides she wants to keep something or declutter something. So I haven't decided if I want to do that yet because I don't know. That's so like rash, like one choice, but um, we'll talk. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get started. All right. So first we have primer, concealer, that whole nine. There we go. <laughs> so let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm like, okay, I want to pick products, but I don't want to, like, take them off the market, you know? Like, it's hard. It's bittersweet. Let's see here. Okay, I think I do... I definitely want to use the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Face Primer. I lied. Okay, I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. We're actually going to use Miss Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. And then should I just go, like... Yeah, we'll just use the Milani Bright Set Illuminating, Prim Illuminating Primer. We'll use two. And then concealer. Let's go in with the Juvia's Place. Uh, I think they're just the Magic Mini Concealer in the shade 16. All right, and then for foundation, I want to go in with the Tower 28 Sunny Days here. And then powder. I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty powder. This is so hard! Okay. Okay, we're going to go with the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder. All right, face palettes. We're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Duo in the shade Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. Oh, uh, that'll be it for this drawer. Let's just, we'll just start in order, I think. So we'll just pop all the way. Back here, even though, hmm, is that smart? My shirt is blue. Yeah, we'll just start in order because I feel like that'll be the easiest. This is the Ace Beauté Falling For You eyeshadow palette. I have no idea if you can get it, what, whatever, but here we go. We have creams over here, so I think I want to take the Milk Makeup Stick in the shade Blaze. And then, actually we will take the uh, Merit Beauty Beverly Hills Cheek Color. And we only need a highlighter, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll stay on brand and go with the Jaclyn um, Iced Highlighter. Alright, let's just keep them coming. We'll go with the Jaclyn Truth Lipstick here. Although I know which lip liner I want to use. So hold on, let me see if I want to gloss or anything. For now, I won't pull a gloss even though I have all of these and all of those. 
All right, over here I have all these lipsticks, but I really want to pull this Essence Day 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade. This is because, duh, they don't sell this anymore and I have the smallest amount left, so I just want to use it up. Anything else? Okay, I'm just going to grab one of the brow pencils that have both. So I'm going to go with the Oma by Sharon C. One and Done 2-in-1 Brow Styler. Has a gel and a pencil is what I meant. And then mascara. Ew, man. For mascara, we're going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. Eyeliner. I'll pull this blue just in case. And if I don't use the blue, I'll pull a black. Oh, shoot. I maybe come back to the shore. <laughs> Alright, and then last is setting spray. Alright, let's actually go in. We're going to go with the Max Fix Studio Fix Plus here. Alright, let's just go get ready. Alright, so we got all of our goodies. I am so freaking excited, actually. Um, like I was saying, it's a little bit, like, nerve-wracking because I'm like, these products, I'll use this once and then I won't be able to use them again for a while. Depending on the category, of course, because some categories I have a little more, a little less, that kind of thing. So, it's okay, but I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Crap. I'm making a mess. That's what I tell my kids at the daycare. You're making a mess. And so they look at me and go, a mess? I'm like, yes, you're making a mess. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in. First, we're going to go with the Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer. Um, I do really like this primer. I just don't use it, you know, often. I have my Rare Beauty, and that's, like, the love of my life. Um, this one is good, though. It does have that luminosity that, you know, that's the goal here with an illuminating primer. And so I think it's nice. I just don't, I think it's, like, a little bit more subdued. You can see it just adds this, like, very natural glow. So I know a lot of people would love this if you're someone who's just, like, you want to be a glowing goddess, but you don't want to be too too much of a glowing goddess. So you kind of, like, reel it in. That's this That's this primer. Um, I think it is pretty close to the Rare Beauty. I just think the Rare Beauty has a little bit more pearls in it, I guess. I should say, like, more illumination. But this one's really pretty, and I could definitely see myself using this up in the future. So um, there's that. All right, then we're going to go with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. My forehead is oily. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, I honestly have um, pretty dry skin. Like, I always, you know, I go, like, when I get in the shower, I get out of the shower, my skin is like, <sighs> even when I wake up in the morning, my skin is like, <sighs> so bone dry. Um, but I realized that, I mean, unless I completely don't put any products on my forehead, my forehead just stays greasy throughout the day. And, like, my forehead is always the first to go when it comes to foundation. And so I, you know, I don't know if it's summer, summer, so I've officially moved to combination skin. <laughs> so for now, we're going to try this before I go into like too many matte products because I don't really like matte products. Um, so we're going to try something that's more like pore filling oil controlling. But you can see it just like kind of controlled the glow on my forehead. And I think that that's exactly what I need here. Um, and honestly, I'm just not going to put it anywhere else because if I get too close to my nose, my nose starts to go dry and I cannot deal with that. But we're going to keep it on the forehead. Keep it on the forehead. Like, there's no way I could use this up solely using it on my forehead, but it's so expensive. Woo! All right, next we're going to go in with the Tower 28 Sunny Days. Um, broad Spectrum, I feel blah, 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 25 Ocean Park. I honestly, I honestly wish I would have picked up the new Kosas foundation instead of this. They were, it wasn't like a one or the other. This I got from, I think I got this from Tower 28's website, honestly. But it was just like one of the newer foundations and, um... That's why I'm comparing them as the two. And a lot of the other products that I've picked up foundations recently that I just, you know, have liked a lot. So it really was down to like this one in Kosas, but that's why I compared it in my head. Anyway, this is nice. I just can't really, like really think much about it. First of all, the color is horrible for me. That's what's also going to be fun about this adventure. Okay. Um, is that some of these shades are so bad for me right now. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. And it'll probably go well into, not well, but far into it. Like, it'll probably go into fall as well, so there's also that, so. People really like this, and I don't know, I feel like the Rare Beauty is better. I feel like um, Drugstore has better. Like, I feel like they're so much better than that, and I don't, maybe it's just, well, maybe it's just because, you know, it's Tower 28. Although, now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> she's a beaut. 
it looks so pretty and so skin like and glowy i just i really do like it maybe it's the shade that i don't like so much because obviously it's making me look a little bit like light and gray um but it's nice it's nice and then with the spf okay fine fine i'll give it a go all right and then next we have the juvia's place like i think it's the magic concealer of the shade 16 which i don't know how it's gonna work with this yeah foundation well yeah yeah we are a mess we are a mess i'm just gonna add some coverage though around the face actually in general i don't know my skin has been acting crazy and i'm very much and avoid and conquer county gal <laughs> you know like people get like acne and they're like oh my gosh you're not gonna do this and this and this i'm like no just leave it alone and she'll be fine which is true in a lot of my cases like a lot of time i'll have like the other day i had a pimple it's like barely there now and i just left it alone i was like i'm not gonna touch it we're gonna leave her alone and sure enough she's pretty gone, much gone this concealer is full coverage i forgot oh my I do like having a concealer like this on hand though because it's full coverage it has a lot of coverage but it's not um heavy or cakey from what i've used of it and i really do enjoy that because um there are some concealers that i just know are just like heavy they're just cakey and they're just like you know horrible for full coverage and you don't want to wear them so this one i'm glad that is not like that although i went a little nutso <laughs> Although I think the combination of this concealer and this foundation is nice because um, the foundation is helping the concealer be a little bit more like lifelike and glowy where the found the concealer is covering up the spots, you know, that the foundation, the light coverage foundation didn't, you know? It's okay, we're going to have to bronze the house down. Alright, next we're going to go in, I'm going to set my other under eyes first. We're going to go in with the um, AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Powder. I love this finishing powder and the shade Translucent. Um, so I might have to cheat one week. <laughs> no, I'll get through some other products and then I'll go back to this because I like this to set my entire face. The problem with that is that I've, I go back and forth between loose powder and uh, setting and pressed powder under the eye. So many people use pressed powder. I like loose powder, but... A lot of loose powders I have are shades, so then it makes my under eyes darker, blah, 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 blah. We're going with this today. <laughs> I really like this, though. For my entire face, under the eyes, I love this powder. It's a dollar, and I need to place another Shop Say order ASAP. All right, next, let's go in with this guy. Oh, my God. We're going to go in with the Milk Makeup um, Blaze, Matte Bronzer Stick in the shade Blaze. Would you guys want to see a video, like all about stick bronzers i don't know if i'll do cream bronzers i haven't decided oh my gosh this is so dry oh my gosh it's so dry wow all about like stick bronzers i'm sorry um yeah stick bronzers i don't know if i want to do cream bronzers because um then I need to try like a few more. I don't know if I, whatever, either way, my point was that I was looking at Sephora and there's not very many cream stick bronzers on the website. Um, basically it's like this one, Rare Beauty, LYS, and um, like Nude Sticks does have one. Makeup by Mario has one, that one I don't have. I don't have Nude Sticks, but I have tried a Nude Sticks like kind of bronzer, blushy stick. I don't know what the freak it was. I think it was supposed to be bronzer, but it was like a little red. I don't know, so I used it as a blush. Either way, point being, I don't know, would you guys want to see a video about cream bronzer sticks from Sephora? Or just in general? I don't know. Let me know. This is definitely, um, wow. It is definitely. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I got this a long time ago at, like, TJ Maxx. Um, and so, like, it's, I, I haven't worked at TJ Maxx. I'm trying to think. I mean, it's, it'll be a year in November I haven't worked at TJ Maxx, and I definitely did not buy this, you know, right when I left, so this has to be a little bit older, but I didn't even think about that. Wow. Okay, well, it's just hard to blend, and usually this product is very nice, very creamy. I did warm it up a little, and that's how I got it to move on the back of my hand, but she's, I think she's going. Wow, that's so sad. I love this cream bronzer. <laughs> I want another. Another! If you could name that movie... I don't even know what I was going to say because honestly some people might be able to and I don't want to give you money, so. I don't know. <laughs> um, next we're going to go in with the Merit 
uh, beauty cheek color in the shade Beverly Hills. You can use my link down below. Um, it is a commission link, but you know, eventually that can turn into a code and then you guys get some coin off. So support a girl. Let us support each other. Help me help you. <laughs> That's the tea. This sheet color is so pretty. These are easy too because you kind of just throw your brush on. Um, they're nice. They're creamy. They're just like, you know, they fall under the great cream blush category. And so it's kind of like at this point, it's old news. Everyone's done it. <laughs> but if you're looking for something new, something that you haven't used before, um, anything like that, this is your gal. I have no complaints for this. I just don't use it a lot because I have so many. And then like if I'm reaching for one, it's kind of like, is it this one? I don't know. I don't know, so there's that. But I love it. I love it. She's so pretty. It definitely looks better when I don't have a tan on just because um, it's a little bit lighter. So right now it's looking like a little bit pale, but it's pretty. Look at my look at my chest and my bronze Scottish shoulders and look at my pasty face. Unacceptable, unacceptable. All right, now we're, next we're just going to go with the Rare Beauty um, setting powder in the shade Light Medium. I don't think I like this setting powder, um, but I have it, so we're going to use it. I feel like I've used that powder for bronzer, probably. I do think, in theory, this powder is really, not in theory, I think in for certain reasons this powder is nice. I don't, it definitely does not dry out the skin. It sets your makeup nicely. I feel like it's not too um, mattifying where it like sucks the life out, but it's not like super, it's not glowy, like a, you know, a halo glow, elf halo glow kind of powder. Um, it's a little bit more setting than that. So it's a nice combination. Um, I just feel like, you know, they're really just, it not being translucent throws me. I hate that. Can you come out with a translucent one? Please. Don't like that don't like the color because it looks really pretty on me honestly so pretty all right now let's go on with this baby i'm so excited for her this is the jacqueline cosmetics um duo in the shade stay rosy and yummy toffee i was saying something about the milk bronzer definitely didn't finish that thought i don't know what it is but it's sad i want another one because i love it that much but it's getting old. I don't know. I may have to get rid of it. Anyway, I don't know if that was a thought. We're going to go with this bronzer duo. <laughs> um, I really, I'm, ex I'm going to pick up her bronzer eventually. I obviously haven't yet. Um, not obviously, but I haven't yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I want that freaking bronzer single so freaking bad. Um, that's one thought. Second thought, this, I just think it's the, I believe it's the blush that I need darker up. I always get confused. One of them is too, like, light for me and I need a regularly, normally without my tan. And the bronzer's working on me with the tan. So I'm going to go ahead and assume it's the blush here that I need a deeper blush from. I need a better blush. But I love this duo, honestly. It's just like 10 out of 10, honey. Well, that really helped my tan. Yes. It's just such a pretty, like, beautiful formula that just bronzes, bronzes the skin, adds this life to it. It's honestly very similar to my favorite Milani uh, baked bronzer. Um, but obviously this is way more expensive, so it just depends on what you're looking for. This one also doesn't have the, um, like, the flex in it that the Milani has, so also there's that. Can we get it together, sister? Alright, then we are just going to go in with the blush here. Just gonna put it on my cheeks. I don't know why I needed to explain that to you. Although you can see the cream blush underneath really, really well, which I'm happy about. Oh, so stunning. I'm like, wow, we're filming so fast, forgetting that I didn't do eyeshadow yet and that that's gonna take me mad long. Love this duo. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend, no complaints. All right, let's do highlighter first. We're gonna go with Jaclyn Cosmetics Iced here. Um, I have no interest in her like putty highlighters at all. Um, because this is like kind of doing it for me. It's like the number one. It's like why fix when it broke, you know? I don't need anything else. I could probably use a tan or a deeper shade, but honestly, it works on my tan. And I just I love this color. It's so like ugh. <laughs> makes you look like you know wet and juicy and just stunning. Stop. I haven't even had food today. 
I feel like I've lived an entire day and I didn't even eat breakfast. I edited a video, I filmed, um, wow. I, uh, what the word, the heck's word? I just shot my stash and then that was it. Like, I don't know why I'm pretending like I'm dying. I'm gonna set my face with the MAC Fix Plus, although my face is love this stuff my face is, was real dewy before I put this on and not that this is a dewy product really it's just that it just sets your face so it like melts your your powders together my powders are melted baby yeah you can see oh my gosh you can feel the glow sitting on my face I'm gonna go back in with the AOA studio powder and this definitely set my forehead get some of the shine under control and we'll go here as well Oh, much better. Look at my nose. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> All right, so next we're actually going to go with the Oma by Sharon C. One and Done 2 one Brow Styler. Um, I like this brow product. It's just like, you know, to me it's not everything you need in your life more. Um, I just really need a spoolie. Nine times out of ten is what I just need in my life. And so, like, it's hard because I obviously it's the brow gel and the pencil, so you don't have an extra spoolie. And I have plenty. It's just like, oh! I don't know why it's one of those things in my head that is just so irritating. Um, but we're just going to go in with the little brow um, gel here first. The brow gel is nice though because it's little. It doesn't put down too much product. So it does really act as a spoolie. I'm just being, you know, like nitpicky. Um, but I like to start in the back. I've told you guys this a little bit um, before. And then fill in the front here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just start back here. And then work my way up. You can see it does add color. There is, it is pigmented. It adds color. My brows look huge right now. Um, so that's just a heads up. A yeah, clear brow gel. I personally like a clear brow gel, I think, a little bit more. Um, just because it doesn't add... Some, most clear brow gels don't really add fibers. They don't add color. Like, you know, they just kind of... Hold your brows together and I like that a lot. I honestly am thinking of repurchasing the Makeup by Mario one because it has been my favorite and um, I'm almost done with it. So um, let me know if you guys have one that's similar to that from the drugstore that is more inexpensive because $20 for a brow gel is a lot of dollars but honestly I don't know what else to do here. All right so they're huge but <laughs> um, they'll, be, they'll be fine when I add some eyeshadow. Um, I do enjoy it. It's just not like cream of the crop. Is that the saying? The cream of the crop? I think that's what it is supposed to be. All right. <laughs> this eyeshadow palette. I'm just like nervous and excited at the same time because this little guy has a lot of colors that are not going to match my shirt. <laughs> Honestly, we're just going to have to yellow because I don't even care. Um, I figured going in order would be the best way for me to remember which palettes I used and which ones I didn't. So... Some days we'll probably like, you know, jump around, move them around a little bit, but we'll just start here so that we're nice and easy. I honestly think I'm going to start with this purple, this shade Cranberry, and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. We're going to just start crazy and go right in the crease with this bad boy. color is pigmented a little bit goes a long way I do remember really liking this formula and that's why I haven't decluttered it yet because every time I look at it like it just is stunning it's breathtaking honestly it I remember really liking the formula it was just like you know I just don't wear these colors every day so that's why I was just like maybe I should get rid of it maybe I shouldn't but oh my gosh so stunning So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade, shade, same cranberry shade and run it on the lower lash line. Why am I the worst YouTuber? I'm sorry. Here we are. Okay. So pretty. I think I really just wanna take, ooh, do I wanna take spice? No, I think I really wanna take this shade Apple up here. This is just pretty shimmer. That's just, it's just like stunning. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. For now. Oh, 
so pretty. This smaller brush, I'm just gonna blend out the crease. I added no more product, I just wanted to blend a little bit here. That shade is so pretty. Oh my gosh, what do I wanna do next? Okay, I'm just gonna go in with the shade Chestnut here, which is this deep, 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 like brown purple. Um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the outer corner here, just the smallest amount, okay. Just to add some depth here, I feel like I've done this look with this palette before. Probably, but it's so pretty, so whatever. Okay, that escalated quickly. We'll just leave it like that. I was debating on playing with it, but I think that that's pretty, in my humble opinion. We'll play it safe and go in with some black. This is the Arcelli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner um, in the shade black. So um, I'm just gonna put on some eyeliner quick. Next, we're gonna go with some mascara. I am gonna curl my lashes because these this mascara needs a little extra help. This is the Wet and Wild Lash Curler. I actually have been enjoying this, so that's good. I feel like. Because I thought I was going to hate it. I always hate, like, you know, sitting here and watching mascara. So I'm going to speed through it and I'll be right back. Ooh! This mascara definitely gets better as time goes on. Like, not even joking. Um, because when I, you first open it, I don't think it's that good. But it's definitely, like, ten times better right now. Um, I do like the green one better, I think, a little bit still. I think it just has a little bit more oomph. But this one is super, super pretty. Definitely as it dies out. So definitely hanging on to that. I am going to just pop the shade Elf, the Elf No Budge Shadow, Shadow Stick in the shade Champagne Crystal in the inner corner. Um, I was like, crap, I won't be able to use this, like, you know, forever. But I realized I only had two, so I could just rotate them back and forth. Because that'll end up happening with some categories in my collection, like mascara. I don't have many as many mascaras as I do have as I have foundations. So like obviously I'll have to rotate foundations. Um, but then eyeshadow palettes is the big problem here because I have way too many eyeshadow palettes. I feel like I'll count the second biggest category in my collection. Maybe go from there because I might be filming these for years if I go with my eyeshadow palettes. All right, next we're gonna go in with the Essence Day 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade because, duh, the smallest amount left. Not even enough to do my entire lips, huh? I'm glad that they decided now to make these like kind of limited edition because I finally found like, you know, ones that I like a little better than these. Um, and so it works out. It worked out <laughs> for me and only me, so sorry. <laughs> All right, she is used up. Da, da, da. We're just gonna add a little bit of the shade Truth from Jaclyn Cosmetics in the center here. I know the shade is pretty light, so. All right, guys, so here is the final look. It is so gorgeous. I'm so excited for most of these products, honestly. I don't think there's any that I feel like, oh my gosh, I need to get rid of ASAP. I definitely will keep my eye on this milk makeup because I think that this is the only product that's literally just bad. The rest of them, I'm genuine, genuinely surprised how much I enjoyed most of them. I did, again, use up the Essence, so that'll go in my empties. And I feel like that's all the updates I need to give you guys. This eyeshadow palette is absolutely stunning. I definitely have to play more around a lot around with it more. But obviously, we'll have to wait until we get through all the rest of the eyeshadows. So, <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about like this kind of series thing here. I don't know if I explained it well enough, honestly, at all. But the goal is to use up every use all every single product in my makeup collection, you know, before I use reuse something. Um, and I find like like with the milk makeup, I keep it for so long, but I haven't even used this for mad long to even know if it's bad or not. I have not used it in that like long that much. I haven't even used it that often, and so it's like horrible to like. I don't know. I'm like crap. Why am I still buying cream bronzers? I want the new cream bronzer, and I haven't even used, used the one I have. But I can't seem to get rid of it. So, I don't know. It's very weird. So, I'm excited to do this. Um, again, Paige Corin, Go check out her Instagram because she's the one who kind of inspired this. So, yes. 
That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. There was something you guys needed to comment along the way, along the way, and I cannot remember. That's it. Bye, guys.